We're going to do a brief video on Dominion Energy Stock Analysis, and we've got a Dominion chart up here for you, Dominion Energy, a daily chart. Got a blue 200-day moving average right up here. You can see this Dominion Energy has been in the bear market since at least all the way back here. Uh, September 20th, but that's really not the accurate way to look at it. It's been flirting with the bear market all the way back since um, June and through most of the summer back and forth oscillating above this 200 day moving average. It's unusual for stock to do what you see this one doing here. This has been oscillating back and forth across a 200 day moving average all the way since March of 2020 and probably a little bit before then, but that's really, really unusual to see that. We'll take a look at an hourly chart and a weekly chart in a minute, but let's just take a look at this daily chart. We can see that Dominion's starting in, in the late, third week in September, the 19th roughly, has just been selling off like crazy. We've been below the 20-day moving average, almost always below the five-day moving average. Very unusual. This stock's just been completely uh, liquidated for a long time, for months. We got a brief rally. We put in the bottom here on October 13th. A lot of stocks did that at $61.70 and rallied up. The second we got up to a reasonable consolidation loan from the previous decline right here, which was only about three days, they sold the heck out of it and, and put it down to new lows today. Dominion today is down 10%, almost 11%, down $7, trading at $59.89. It's got uh, 8 million, 8.3 million shares on average daily volume of 3.9 shares, and it's about 12.30 on the 7th of November. So what's going on with this stock? It appears there's probably something fundamentally going uh, on with it. It's fundamentally wrong. I don't get into the fundamentals, but the reality of the situation is when you have a stock that's been sideways this long, something has seriously changed and it's not a technical nature. It's, it's fundamental to the uh, financials of the company, probably. I'm just guessing. But let's take a look real quick. It's all in my opinion only. Let's go to an hourly chart. And we can see that from an hourly basis, it's been below the 200 hour moving average the blue line since september 13th now that's not unusual a lot of stocks been doing that some been all the way back to uh, august and before so i don't see anything unusual on an hourly chart this this chart could be one of 50 that i've seen in the last couple months this false breakout of the uh price above the 200 hour moving average is again a one of 50 i've seen that so what's going on here particularly i'm not sure but i can tell you from a technical perspective this stock's getting oversold really quick there's just too much rampant selling here you can see if you look carefully there's a gap here from 65 all the way up to 67 this is utility stock so i'm not sure what's going on with it but it's way too volatile for a utility stock in terms of be gapping like that now of course there could be all kinds of uh issues with it fundamentally but from a technical perspective it's oversold i would wouldn't say it's horribly oversold just yet but it's getting there i definitely think that if it gets down in you know much lower here to 50 even if it gets down here to 57 it's going to be really oversold on an hourly chart and i would expect it to rally back up here to 64 or so so that's what we're looking at let's take a look at the weekly chart real quick and see if we can come up with something else it's probably going to be a disaster and it is if you take a look at this chart this for is just an amazing chart um, it's it's uh, for a weekly chart. I don't know that I've ever seen one like this. Um, this looks like some minute charts that you would normally see. A weekly chart, Dominion Energy. I'm checking everything to make sure I got the right page. It's it's outrageous. Let's just look at it from a technical perspective. Flat 200 week moving average going back all the way to February 18. We have a lot of oscillation across the week, just like we had across the day. 200 day, 200 week moving average was very hugging it and just staying to like their life depended on it. And then once it breaks down, it breaks down really hard. Now you'll notice it's done this before and rallied back. It's done it before and rallied back. I expect this stock's going to rally back if it doesn't have some kind of technical disaster. But taking a look at this, our previous low of this thing was back in March of 2020 at a low of about, it looks like $57.79. So if that's the case, $57.79, that's our low. Today we are at uh, $60.50 is our low for today. Uh, actually, it looks like $60.34. So here's your support right here, this $57.79. If it breaks through that, that's going to be a real problem because there's nothing really here until we get all the way down here to 53 and then again down here to 49. So the stock's going to take a beating if it breaks through this low set back in the week of the 23rd of March, 2020. So I, there's no question in my mind the stock is ridiculously oversold right now. However, if you look on a weekly chart, this rally right here is not a good sign for somebody stepping up. This stock was oversold here at this point on the week of the 10th of October, and it did rally. So to be oversold on a weekly chart, I think we're gonna have to come down probably to 55 at least 
and maybe a little lower, maybe the low 50s. That's a disaster looking chart, but maybe 55 ish before it really gets to look oversold on a weekly chart. It's not oversold. Uh, when you take in this con correction, I wouldn't say it's oversold just yet. Now, of course, it's below the 200 week, below the 20 week, below the five week moving average. It's in deep bear market territory for uh, by any analysis, but all for my opinion, uh, my opinion and for entertainment purposes only, but I think this stock probably could go to 55 or maybe a hair lower before we considered it overbought on a weekly chart. Let's take a quick look again at the daily chart. Same thing, we got a correction rally. The stock is oversold on a daily, but again, 57 on a daily would be oversold. So 55 on a weekly and 57 or so on a daily is oversold where you could expect some rallies in here. I'm not guaranteeing anything. I'm just throwing it out here for entertainment purposes only. Uh, on a weekly, I'd say it's already oversold. So you could expect a brief rally up here uh, on an intraday basis, probably like, as I mentioned before, up in the low 60s. So that's what I've got for Dominion Energy today for entertainment purposes only. You trade at your own risk. Uh, we do not cover Dominion, but we do put out 190 plus stocks, algorithmically generated entry prices every morning, Monday through Friday before 7 a.m. at 1, 5, and 20 day whole periods. You got these out here this morning for November 7th. You see Apple and IO is showing uh, nothing today, but Tesla, Court, Macy's, General Electric all in here. You can get them all for free. Absolutely no cost, no credit card required at rbamresearch.com. There's a link in the description below. You just follow up to RBAM Research. Put in your email address and get instant access to 190 stocks, the major forex pairs, BTC crypto, and the most liquid futures contracts, all algorithmically generated entry prices, all updated before 7 a.m. Monday through Friday. Uh, keep in mind, everything you've seen and heard on here is for entertainment purposes only, including the commentary and entry prices. Can't use them for anything other than entertainment. You definitely trade at your own risk, and you should always use your own judgment, do your own analysis. If you have a ticker symbol you want us to do a, an analysis of, please leave in the comment section below. And if it's something that we think would be of interest, we will do it. And if you uh, like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well.